Okay, let's 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 talk about f- something fun really quick. Let's kick off the show with something fun because I think people come here because they like to have a little bit of fun, and we're mm-hmm. a fun show, and we, and impacts a fun show. So we 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 have a lot of fun recapping that. So you know the uh, the slap fight deal, right? Oh. We'll start. With, let, let, let's, I don't want to talk too much about slap oh. fight, but so that thing just completely shit the bed, right? It's you know one of the worst ideas in the history of television. It's it's right up there with uh what was it? Maury Povich went into like the one of the tombs, right? You remember that? You remember that? Her- uh, Geraldo Rivera it was, it was Geraldo found Rivera. El Capone's vault. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I had that way wrong, by the way. Maury Povich found. I Maury Geraldo, same thing. Yeah. I get that. Yeah, and I knew it was a tomb or a vault. I guess Al Capone's vault, and then there was nothing in it, right? It was like some some papers or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um. So it it was so funny. Um. And I was kind of making fun, making fun of it, you know, on on Twitter, saying, "Well, if you really are an AEW fan, you'll support Slap Fight." I and saw that. Dana White's Tony Tony Khan and Dana White are legitimately really good friends, and that is true, by the way. That is so, true. You know, if you support AEW, then you must support uh, Slap Fight, right? Because the AEW that. fans. The, yeah, the Slap Leets. You must support slap Dana and the Slap Leets. Slap um, Leets. That's what it was. And then I, I made this joke, and uh, our buddy Kevin Ely from um, from the uh, the Boom podcast, uh, he loved it. So I wanted to share the story here. <laughs> I said on Twitter, yeah, I said on Twitter that uh, you know uh, Scott Coker. What we need is a uh, Scott Coker doing a uh, Scott Coker's dick punch. Dick punch com- coming soon to to Access TV <laughs> and the network. Um, yeah. and, uh, he, he got a kick out of that. And then me and Justin started coming up with an idea to do kind of an intro drop, like a commercial for it saying coming soon to access TV, Scott Coker's dick punch, support your local cock knocker. See now that we could get your cousin to do for our show yeah. and it would be fine. I think every other show <laughs> would take a small brow, but on yeah. this show, yeah, it's kind of low brow. So, you know, we're, we're, you know, it, it impacts and all that. Yeah. Impact is lowbrow by nature, so yes. that's why we—that's why it works so well for our show. It's a company that employed Vince Russo for nearly a decade, off and on. So you can't <laughs> yeah. be any lower brow than that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I just—I just thought that was pretty funny. And when you talked about the drop for Fight Game Media, I was—that made me think of the the dick punch joke. Two two hundred some odd thousand viewers in your first week. And you on, took and you took an absolute beating publicly. Pardon the pun. Yeah. Like, and you got to look like a clown. Excuse me. And you got to look like a clown because the geniuses at Warner Media would not let them do a Jay Briscoe tribute show, but will let wife beater Dana White have his little fun side project that absolutely tanks our network. Good call, Warner Discovery. Did it again, dude. dude slap fight lost. What two thirds of the lead in audience from from Dynamite? Dynamite was over nine hundred, right? Damn near three quarters, my friend. Yeah, da- da- I mean, Dynamite was about nine hundred. The Slap Fight was 969. just over two hundred. Nine sixty nine, and Slap Fight was not even a third of that, right? Yeah. Like, like they 25%. were well like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Damn near That's... a quarter of the people who watch Dynamite, and I bet it was less. I bet some of those people that stumbled upon Slap Nut or uh, Slap Nuts, Slap, sorry, Slap TNA Nuts. podcast, um, <laughs> uh, Slap Fight were people who just kind of wanted to check out who are more UFC loyalists yeah. looking to support the Slap Leads. Which, by the way, the problem with Slap Fighting, there's a lot of problems with Slap Fighting. The big one as a viewer is once I've seen someone get knocked his ass knocked out once from a slap, I'm like, good. Like, yeah. like I'm like, I watched one, I'm like. Okay, they're all gonna be like that. Like, <laughs> no problem in that. No stupid. Here's why slap fighting is really stupid. You just sit there and let someone slap the absolute piss out of you. Yeah, that's it. That, so, um, I you know I always make a joke that I like. Oh, I don't have any dignity. You know, I'll watch anything and yada yada yada. I I I just joke about that. Well, when I first started my website, the website that you wrote for at one point Combat in time, Republic. that's how we that's how we became uh, friends. Combat Republic. Um, I I had like a kind of a promotional thing with Fight TV to where like they I remember. would send. Yeah. I got free shows. I miss those <laughs> yeah. days. <laughs> yeah, you you won contests all the time. Constantly, I was winning yeah. like every month. <laughs> so I, I would do these contests to give out free fight TV codes. And like the gag was you had to follow me and you had to follow whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, so I, they would send me these contests all the time just to, just as like a promotional thing. And I would, and I was happy to do it because uh, it got me more followers and it got people to read my blog and stuff like that. 
And I, I never turned any of them down. I was doing like all kinds of like karate shows, kickboxing, Thai boxing. I did one for uh, John Moxley's movie that came out. John Moxley and Christian oh, yeah. Cage I actually had a movie, like an MMA movie that came out. Like I did promotional ones for that one. And I was like, oh, this good. is great. It was okay. Yeah, I, I, but I like cheap BC level action movies, and that's yeah. kind of what it was. So I, I, th- I dug it. I'm okay. With I had G- I had Gina Gershon in it from you know those '80s late night Showtime oh, movies. I, right? I know of Gina Gershon yeah. quite well, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so they, that to me. yeah, so they they asked me to to do one for a slap fight show because that's where Dana first saw it was on Fight TV, and I took a look at that and was like, no. I only turned down two pay-per-views from them to, to do. I was like, oh, you know, I don't think I could do this one. And I just came up with an excuse. I just lied. Um, it was that one. And then there was a, a pillow fight where it was like chicks pillow fighting. And I'm just like, I'm not, you know, like that's the last thing I need to get involved with. You know, my wife sees me tweeting that. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, we're not getting into that nonsense. But uh, so those were the two things that I turned down, slap fighting and pillow fighting. I don't know what TV. I mean, let's take out the fact that it's really stupid. Like, yeah, the man slapped his wife on video not three weeks ago. So, it, but you know what? You want to know what's worse? And I, and so what? we're actually, we wanted to, we, I'll tell you, we, we wanted Please. to start the show with a Jay Briscoe tribute, and we're going to get to that. And completely pooch that. Yeah. 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 No. Well, so, but I wanted to tell a funny story at the beginning of it. So, um, because I wanted to start the show off lighthearted like we typically do. Right. So, what's worse about, the slap thing and the slap was terrible. Don't get me wrong, but you know, Jay Briscoe, God rest his soul. Um, you know, years and years ago had a home, had a couple of homophobic tweets that they were awful, terrible, inexcusable, right? He repented and he did it for years. And these jack offs at Warner, Warner media wouldn't give the guy a shot. Wouldn't give the guy a chance. Right. Um, Dana white did the same thing. Use the same language. But he did it in an interview, in a video that came out. And I watched the video right as it happened against a, another journalist named Loretta Hunt. Said the same awful shit to her that, that Jay Briscoe was saying on, on Twitter. And it was even worse because he went and attacked this person who was gay. And he said awful, awful things that you would say about a lesbian woman. And you, you, you guys know the slurs that I'm talking about. He said them all, right, and got called out on it, okay? And, and, and in Dana White's defense, he repented too. But the difference is Dana White has power and Dana White makes them money. So he was all easily forgiven, right? And so at least they thought he didn't make Warner Discovery any money. That's for sure. I think they did because I guarantee you slap fight is a pay for play deal. I think they're buying that TV time, right? Yeah. Because they and they're doing it. And that's how UFC got on to Spike TV originally was they paid for the they paid for the time to get on TV. I think that's what they're doing. You think they're paying you think slap fights paying for that, or you think they got a deal because it's Dana White and Endeavor? I assumed Endeavor's behind it in some way, shape, or form. So this is no this is not Endeavor. This is Dana White. This is Dana White and Lorenzo Fertita. This is their side hustle. This is a Zufa kind of side hustle thing. So it's still um, so sure. Zufa, the bones of Zufa, but it's Zufa, man. Like these are guys with yeah. a lot of, it wasn't like, I mean, this is, this is essentially a startup, but I bet they got, I mean, do we know, has Dave talked about this in the observer? I haven't seen that. Do they have a time I, by deal or. I that is, So what, that might just be Mike's assumption that that might be just me. I, I just couldn't imagine them getting any money for that. That is a question for Brandon Howard Thurston that I would like to have an answer, to be honest with you, is what kind of a TV yeah. deal did Dana White scam Warner Discovery? Because David Zasloff just makes one great decision after another. He has done nothing but <laughs> tremendous things as the president of Warner Brother Meet, Warner Discovery, whatever it's called now. Yeah. What an absolute shit show this company continues to be week in and week out.